Framery also has their O model, which is designed to fit one person, comes in a variety of options, and for ours, we actually added some branding to the side. Yes, you do kind of feel like you're sitting in a fishbowl, but your team will thank you when they don't have to listen to you constantly rehearsing your weekly LinkedIn video. <laughs> Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I think that we are in the wrong business. This is a phone booth looking thing. How much do you think this costs? 400 bucks? 600 bucks? $3,895. Remember back in the day when it used to be cubicles? Everyone had their own little space, but that was too much privacy. So management said, let's go to open offices. But that was uh, distracting. So as they got complaints, they decided to bring in these little mobile cubicle, human cage, prison-like things that they offer you for privacy. And we're gonna look at all of those options today because there are tons of companies trying to offer these things inside of open offices as the solution to all your open office problems. Why are we devs when we could just be selling phone booths to other people in open offices? We have the Pop and Pod Colo One, $7,500. The TalkBox Single, $4,450. The Framery O, eight to $10,000. This is for the small one. So this is a slightly bigger version of the previous human cage. It costs 14, I can't even, $14,000. A thoughtfully designed personal office that allows you to concentrate on the task at hand. What about the open meeting room? How much does that cost? Oh, it's like, it's like a double seat office thing that they have at colleges. You see the guy leaning on the wall going, oh, what's going on in here? Privacy, what? The meeting room is $17,995. I mean, I, I'm serious. Like we're all in the wrong business. We could be making the price of a, a car or a down payment on a house. Here's another one, the Framery Q Maggie, starting at $20,000. The orange box, Personal Pod Air 23, starts at $31,000. I can buy an entire pre-built shed that's twice the size of this at Home Depot for half the price of this. All right, so here's a video where we can take a look at these little pods on, on a deeper level. Did nobody give this man some earplugs to put in? Like he's he's not wearing any and that's really loud as it is already. And they just locked him inside this little box here and he's still playing full blast. Like All right, so here's a bigger company doing this called Framery. I think this is a Finnish company and let me just stop right here and say Finland, I thought that you were better than this. We have uh, Serious About Happiness. Our products, including pods, phone booths, and soundproof private spaces solve noise and privacy issues in open offices. Ideal for one, awkward for two. <laughs> Is that supposed to be funny? Uh, can you imagine if someone like farted in this and then like left and then you got in right after? Like this would just be, <laughs> this would be awful if anyone had bad hygiene in any sense whatsoever. The Framery Q, the soundproof office cage for one to four people, over 50% of people have a hard time concentrating in open plan offices. Yes, that's true, but this is not the solution. This is not the answer to not being able to concentrate in an open office. Happiness is critical because happy employees take 66% less sick leave. Oh, I don't know if that's the right metric to use in terms of happiness. Here's some uh, BS data from Pascal Shari, business operations at Datadog. He says, Framery pods have made our office 75% a happier workplace. <laughs> How do you quantify happiness for everyone with one giant metric and put a percent on it? Like what's the difference between 75% happiness and 85% happiness? What does that even mean? Economic value creation for these human cages. What's our secret to sustainable growth? Well, simply, we don't engage in any funny business. And I don't understand what that has to do with sustainability. We pay our taxes fair and square. We do honest deals with our partners and dealers. What, what does that have to do with economic value creation or sustainability? Who wrote this? This just sounds like a bunch of mumbo jumbo for a product that, again, doesn't need to exist. Working in an open office environment can afford your organization many benefits. Increased communication, flexibility, transparency, and teamwork. But for everything you make up for in collaboration, you lose in privacy. And, and now he's going to try to explain how these glass wall booths enhance privacy. Now most spaces have a, some form of conference room where you can close a door and have a private conversation. 
Today, many spaces are also including smaller phone rooms where one to two people can meet for a short period of time. It sounds like the definition of privacy at work is a phone call. That's it. Nothing else. Just your ability to communicate out loud with someone else is your privacy. Other than that, sorry. Collaborative spaces can sometimes work, but since they're usually out in the open, they're not very private. Didn't he just say collaborative spaces are the benefit of open offices? I don't... what? That's why I'm so excited to show you the newest addition to our workspace, the Framery Q. It's the perfect place for people to have meetings, brainstorming sessions, and face-to-face -face interactions in private without disturbing the entire office. He said, it's the perfect place for people to have private interactions without disturbing the entire office. Wasn't it the other way around? Wasn't it the entire office was disturbing these people so that they had to go to private? This man makes no sense. As LED lighting and a fan keeps the air circulating inside. It can be customized in a variety of different ways with different setups, accessories, fashionable colors, and comfortable seating options. This setup is called the Meeting Maggie, but you can also get Working with Pale, Me Time, Betty's Cafe, and the Nap Q. Although if you're not comfortable with your employees taking naps at work, maybe stay away from that setup. Framery also has their O model, which is designed to fit one person, comes in a variety of options, and for ours, we actually added some branding to the side. Yes, you do kind of feel like you're sitting in a fishbowl, but your team will thank you when they don't have to listen to you constantly rehearsing your weekly LinkedIn video. <laughs> yes, you do feel like you are sitting in a fishbowl, but your team will thank you. Wasn't your team the reason why you needed to go into this so that you could focus and work more efficiently? Pick one. You can't have it both ways, guy. The Framery O is a freestanding privacy booth that allows users to enter a secure, soundproof, and personal space within the open office. Perfect for making important calls, participating in video conferences, and having quiet space to focus on demanding tasks. The booth comes equipped with everything you need. A tabletop, air ventilation system, electric socket, and LED lighting, which adds space and comfortable accessories for the use of two people, allowing them to have meetings, brainstorming sessions, and important one-on-one -on -one conversations. I have developed a proprietary solution that I think surpasses all of these options we've seen. The personal dome. You put it on your head and it increases productivity and privacy. It decreases distractions from your peripheral vision by up to 45%. And then on top of that, I have developed a patented locking mechanism. Think to yourself, I don't get paid enough to deal with this BS. You take this locking mechanism and you slide it in right here and you have your own personal booth that you just don't have to deal with anyone anymore. That's all I got for you today. Hit subscribe, hit like, leave a comment. See you in the next one. Bye. Oh, I didn't see you there. I was just in my personal uh, dome and I was working. I, I was actually watching one of my favorite YouTube channels, Corridor Crew. Go subscribe today if you haven't seen it. Everyone on that channel is great. Um, this is genius, dude. Guess what? We got some great it's like, it's like theater sound in there. Dolby Digital 7.1 surround.